Hi, and welcome to Watercolors Made Easy with Karen Wheeler. I'm Karen. I'm still working on Giant Bunny Sale. I finished the eye that I started last time, but now I'm going to work on some texture. Again, here are the photographic references I'm using. I print them out very poorly so that I redo them and make them my own. And today I'm using a little gadget that my friend Nancy Stewart invented so that I don't have to hold on to the brush. It holds the brush and grips my finger and it's some kind of elastic or probably neoprene would even work. But today, I'm just doing some texture on the center rabbit. And I'm using sort of a greenish blue and a reddish blue and a little brown because I don't use black. I'm using a little bit of a bigger brush. And I like that because it holds more and I don't have to dip so much. So it's a very dark color. So I want to plant it where the picture is darkest. I'm doing little spotting, keeping them apart while I let them sit because then I can go back to them later before they completely dry and I spread them around a little bit. I keep in mind that it's not just where I'm putting the paint that matters, but where I'm not putting the paint. I try not to mix too much of one color at once because then I'll mix it a little bit different the next time. And every color layered over makes like a different hair. So it basically is thousands of strokes. but I'm building up the darkness very slowly. That way I don't lose the light tones. The first rabbit is muted and brown and I wanted to make this center rabbit cooler. So I'm keeping it kind of a dull gray but I want it to show up a little more than the one behind it.
as I use up the pigment in the brush, the paint gets lighter and lighter. And I can move it down into lighter areas. It's an easy way to maintain the white of the paper. I work all over the area because that way each different color I mix ends up being all over. And I kind of work like it's a typography typography map. Like it has hills and valleys. That way I can keep the volume of the rabbit's face. Anyway, it's very relaxing, and I could do this for hours. Thanks for watching.